The fall classic begins here. We'll see the Chicago Cubs as they play against the Chicago White Sox. This is 2K Sports. Game one, the fall classic ready to kick off with Steve Phillips and John Crock. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Thorne. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. Everyone settling in now, U.S. Cellular Field, the site. And it'll be the right-hander, Eric Bedard, our starting pitcher. As he gets going against these Cub hitters, what's in store? Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, He's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch in the field for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Lou Pinella's got. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, you watch Ryan Terrio play, and he's the kind of guy that can do a lot of things on a baseball field. He gives pitchers a lot of pitch because he works counts. Thing is about him, he's, he can handle the bat, he can bunt, he can also hit and run, hit the ball behind runners. Makes him valuable at the top of that order. And Alfonso Soriano for that. All right, Steve, and uh, while it is still early, how about a little strategy viewpoint from the White Sox? Here we are once again, my favorite part of the baseball season, the Fall Classic. They've obviously both played well so far in the postseason to get here, but only one can emerge victorious. Starting out, first inning of baseball, 0-1. And, and uh, Steve, that will be the team that doesn't let the... Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. Rome's over, puts it away. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Joe Creedy has great reactions in the hot corner, Gary. He has great instincts to be able to move, glove the ball, and a strong, accurate arm. And we've got Bird batting. Bring it, White Sox. One out, nobody on. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Damon. As he gets to it for the end. So this ball was headed to the gap. But the left fielder got a good jump on it. Be able to run it down and make the play. Now with two outs, chance for Derek Lee. Started to go around, held up, but it's in there on one. Bedard gets set and delivers. Foul! It's fouled away. Foul! And it holds at 0-2. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is 0-2. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. It's going to be Ted Lilly on the mound. Chicago's got him starting in this one. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, one of the more unheralded left-handed pitchers in all of baseball, Ted Lilly is one of these pitchers that's going to pitch fastball, low 90s, up in the zone, and he's going to throw a big, slow, sweeping breaking ball. He shatters his bat, a line drive. And the leadoff man of this ball game's on board. To see if they get it started early. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, you talk about a veteran presence in the middle of the lineup. Paul Canerco has been one of the more consistent power hitters in baseball over the last eight to ten years. He's a guy that just does it in a calm, quiet way. He doesn't put up the huge monster numbers, but he puts up the consistent numbers every year. But he also loves to get that big hit. Let's see if he can deliver one here in this one. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Lilly with the pitch. Hit sharply down the line. And it's caught by Ramirez. And he'll go back to first. A chance to check out the Cubs' defense as they're out on the field. Scouting these fielders. Steve. Kosuke Fukudome is a guy that played a lot of center field in his career. Whether he's in center field or he's in the corners, he can make plays. He's not afraid of the wall. He's willing to go up and make the tough catch. 
And here's Paul Konerko. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Streak continues. That gets in. Damon heads the third. He's still going. He's headed for the plate. And bang! What a collision at the plate. And he scores. The ball at the plate on that collision. He scores. They got the production first. One zip. Well, he had the plate blocked. He just couldn't hang on to the ball. Well, and I don't blame it. It's one thing to have to concentrate on catching the ball. It's another to see the runner coming at you at full speed. A tough path, no question. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. And a Steve, they've got the edge right now. They're getting some big runs at an important part of the game. Trying to salt it away early. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead. This game. Right. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Right. Well, that, that's right, Gary. They're going to try to use that edge to add some padding to this lead. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. And Beckham's in the box. This one swung on and driven hard. And that'll do it as Fukudomi puts that one away. Nice way to get things started in this one. The White Sox lead it one to nothing. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crump, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Strike two, and Ramirez will be a contact hitter now. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They counted a fastball down and in. For a strike. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss for Ramirez. Strike three and he is out. The 82 mile per hour pitch coming in flat right there. He just looked a little uh, silly on that one, John. He was just flailing away. Well, that's the toughest pitch to hit. That pitch up and in. If you miss it, you look very foolish. And it's Giovanni Soto. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. That'll bring up Jeff Baker. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. One out man on first. He deals. A line drive towards short. Over to second for one. And that's two. A double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. Cellular Field. Contact Lily's pitch. Well, you know, in this situation right here, that the hitter's always going to look for a fastball. The pitcher was smart, though. He threw in that slider, got the hitter out in front to swing early. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. This one to Soriano. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Number 12. Going to be Krasinski. Krasinski. One out, bases in. Lilly with a pitch. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And that'll put Krasinski on first. That's going to bring Joe Greedy up. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit into a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. Swing and a miss on Lilly's pitch, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Greedy will lean in on that zone now. Oh, look at that big 12 to 6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front, swinging early. 
Fantastic chance here. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. No, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it the right field. He's one of the best at doing it. And as Jim told me in the box now, swings and misses the slider. 0-1. Here it comes. And that's a strike. Tome is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, outstanding movement on the cut fastball, but he left it out over the heart of the plate. He got away with one right there. Line drive. That will bring up Johnny Damon. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. Three on and one out. First pitch on the way to Damon. And a swing and a miss on Lily's pitch, 0 and 1. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. He sends this one in the air towards center. Out number two. He's got a shot to get out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. RBI situation, Alexei Ramirez. His fourth time around, he's gone one for three off Ted Lilly. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. Goodbye. He's done it. A big grand slam. They just stepped out into a commanding lead now. A grand slam. Five runs up. Well, you can't do more damage with one swing of the bat than that. Let's take a look at the Pepsi WPA chart. Got to do some reaching. Got to do some bending if you're on that pitch that's low and away, and he did. That's just great hitting right there. I mean, that's all about a very good hitter at the plate. Going down and getting it here. They're just not pitching well. And Well, you make these kinds of mistakes, they're making them pay for it. And he starts Canerco out. That one's drilled to short. And that'll do it as Terrio puts it away. That is a tough inning for Ted Lilly. He's allowed that one big fly ball in the game. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. Baseball's familiar faces, including that of Lou Pinello. This game right now, right now, foremost in his mind. It's a one game at a time point of the season. Yet an ultimate goal is right in front of you. Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Boy, I tell you what, this is some kind of curveball. I mean, it just locks the players up. He's got great stuff. Oh, and it's two strikes now. And Terrio's got to protect that strike zone. Boy, when that curveball is your best pitch, that really causes hitters some problems. Well, you talk about changing a hitter's eye level. You throw the fastball up high, you throw the curveball in the same plane, and then it drops down. It's awfully yeah, tough on the plate. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Michael Hoffbauer. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart. Swing and a hot shot, and it's plucked off the field. One, and they get it. They turn two. A uh, beautiful looking double play right there. A pitcher's best friend. And that shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about the fence. And Alfonso Soriano for that. Here's the pitch to Soriano. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one. Now. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's trouble. That's got to be tracked down.
One two pitch coming. Two and Good two. patience. Soriano lets that one go by for a ball. Count is even. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. We move to the bottom of the third World Series game one well underway. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Park and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Struck out swinging his last time up. Lilly with the pitch. Hit hard to second. Baker. No, Quinton is retired. Second baseman. Number three. And Beckham's in the box. Jordan Beckham. Base is empty, one out. Here's the first pitch. Hit up the middle. And it's in there. That hitting streak continues. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. Well, he did his job right there, getting on base. Now with one out, let's see if they can move him around and get him in scoring position. And he starts Rios out. And a swing and a miss on Lilly's pitch, 0-1. Oh, deja vu all over again. I mean, the offense just keeps on putting the pressure on so many base runners so far in this one. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. We talk about a pitch that's hit sharply towards the hole. The opportunity for offense is right now. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. It's going to be Przinski. Base hit his last time. Lilly with a pitch. Catcher can't control it. Stay put, second and third. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. His lifetime average, 288 against the Cubs. Now Soto sets up. Put something off, and it's swung on and missed. 0 and 1. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? The pitch. And that's a strike. Tomey is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Struck him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And we've got Bird batting. Right fielder, number 23, Marlon Bird. First pitch on the way. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Look, Gary, the way this is going so far here in the fourth, I mean, they do have three hits. Uh, so they've had a couple of base runners, but I think that because they're not mounting hit after hit, they may have to put some plays on to get the runners moving. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he'll step on first for out number one. And it's Derek Lee Derek now. Lee. He's hit 304 lifetime against the White Sox. Now Lee gets set. Oh. First pitch, he lays off that curveball that's inside, 1 0. Now the 1 0 pitch. 
up the middle. That's a huge out right there. You think maybe you're not going to get to it. He's able to make a tremendous play. And Aramis Ramirez stands in. Two down. Struck out swinging last time. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Strike two. strike two. And Ramirez will be a contact hitter now. This is the go to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Tries to saw him off for that one, but he missed. One and two. The one two pitch. Hit in the air to center field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And it's Johnny Damon now. One for two in the ballgame. Number 18, Johnny Damon. The first pitch. Oh, Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0 and 1. Career average for him, 338 against the Cubs. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. Runner on first base, nobody out. And Ramirez settles in first pitch can't connect it's on one when you're already falling behind like this you cannot continue to allow your other team to get base runners you'll never get back into this game swing and a miss he's in the hole two strikes well if you're going to get a good fastball you better pull the trigger a little sooner you can't be late on that heater this one could be trouble down the right field line off the wall and a hop And he ends up at second. That's a double. Now he tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the point. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead on the count, and then you give up a base hit. Cut on and missed 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you. Take it. You better look. Well, Carlos Quinton comes up here with two runners on. Boy, a big number. 405 lifetime off the Cubs. Took something off and it swung on and missed. Only one. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Pitcher's got him right where he wants him now. Up ahead, 0-2. He can waste the pitch if he wants to. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a kick. That's how you use your fastball. Using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. Here's the delivery. Hot shot towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He's normally not called upon to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. They pick up no runs. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. So Giovanni Soto will lead it off. Six year player. Bedard gets set and delivers. Swinging a ball line softly down the line in right. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. That'll bring up Jeff Baker. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. And here's the first one. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Oh, 
Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going with only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't catch up. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. And it's Ryan Terrio. There's a swing and a liner. Beckham able to pull that one. And he'll have to hold it first. Designated hitter. And Hoff Power right batting. Hoff He's Hoff. one for one so far. Now the first pitch. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And that should be a single. Stepping that will bring Kosuke Fukudome up. Center fielder. Well, this is a guy that usually struggles with Kosuke pitches in and around Fukudome. the knees. But he was able to just drop the bat head on it. Got a good piece of wood on it. A quality big league at bat. Ball. That one's too low. Bedard missing. Here's the 1 0. Misses outside for ball two. Ground ball, Creedy. And he scoops it up. Throw on to second base, force play, side retired. And Alex Rios to lead off. One for two in the ballgame. Number 51, Alex Rios. And he starts Rios up. And he gets this one by him on one. He said 263 lifetime off the Cubs. That's a strike and it's 0 2. Time for Rios now to protect. The pitch. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KJ. We just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Strike Swings one. on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Strike two. And that's a strike. AJ Pruszynski now behind in the count, defensive stance at the plate. Fastball got him two down. He's got some real giddy up on the fastball today. It's got that good late action in the zone. That's his fifth strikeout on the fastball. First pitch to Creedy. Grounder, Lee. So Jim Tomey coming up. Well, after two outs, they finally got a man on board right here in this inning. So let's see if they can get back-to-back -back hits going and maybe get some momentum. Runner on first, two away. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. The top of the order is due up next. And Alfonso Soriano up. Left fielder, number 12, Alfonso Soriano. Bedard gets set and delivers. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. And Przinski calls for the pitch. In for a strike, one and one. But Gary, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game, and you know, they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. And the one-two pitch from Bedard. That'll put Soriano on first. Now batting for the Chicago now He takes Cubs. this one-two right pitch fielder, down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. That's one away. Now batting for the Chicago Cubs. First base, number 25. And Derek Lee digs Derek in. One out. Flew out last time. Now Lee gets set. That one's too low, Bedard missing. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. There's one that misses, two and one. Now the two one pitch. Strike two, good pitch. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four seamer. 
It's scooped up. That's one. And the double play, they got a ball. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got outs to get Steve, but he's in this one. Now, Gary, he's got his great stuff and his great location. And we head into the back stretch of the World Series game one. The rest of the six coming up. And it's Johnny Damon. Number 18, Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Covers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. Gone a home run. Remarkable. They now lead by seven with that solo shot. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. No outs and nobody on base. And the first pitch. Swing and a line into right center. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. Ramirez is headed for third. Out of third as they tag him. Number and here's Paul Canerco. Try it again here, just one for three thus far. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Over his lifetime, 293 off the Cubs. Here's a swing and a broken bat ground ball. And Canerco retires. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Struck out swinging last time. First pitch to Quinton. He waved at that breaker and misses, and an 0 1 count. Can't catch up with it, 0 and 2. Fastball swung out and missed, and the size retired. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gant. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. Lead off hitter, Aramis Ramirez. 0 for 2 thus far. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And out number one as he steps on the base. And it's Giovanni Soto. Two for two in the game. Bedard gets set and delivers. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top. A swing line to left center. And in there, three for three ball game. And Soto stretching it. And he gets there in time, the second base. With the Chicago Cubs. Well, the guy that just second continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a round? Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. He swings and nails a liner. And it's caught by Ramirez. Now the runner will have to hold at second. Runner at second. Here's Riley Terry. One for two in the ball game. Bedard gets set and delivers. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. He delivers. And it's two strikes now. And Terrio's got to protect that strike zone. Unless you stay on the ground to second. Beckham. He'll throw on to first. And that'll do it for this half inning. So they can't figure anything out. And through seven, they remain without a run. The shutout is still in progress here. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Here's the first pitch. 
strike one. And he gets this one by him on one. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. And it's fouled oh. away. Swung on him, missed by Gordon Beckham. You can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour, pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. And he starts Rios up. And that's by him on one. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed behind now, 0 and 2. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Grounder, Lee, and he gathers this one, and he steps on first. That's the second out. It's going to be Przinsky. Base is empty and two down. Here's the pitch. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Swung out and missed strike two. Well, they need a shutout, shutout inning right here to get back in there and score some rounds. At least looking like they got a chance to get through it without giving up some rounds. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Three up, three down this half inning. White Sox seven. The Cubs nothing. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And Hoff Power batting. We'll lead it off here. Inning number eight. Micah Hoffpower. And here's the first one. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. No balls. One strike. Here's Bedard. Swung on, hit. And it's through. That's a base hit. That's going to bring up Kosuke Fukudoma. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Here's the first pitch to Fukudoma. Can't connect. It's on one. Look here, listen. He's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've gotten a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Grounded up the middle. Gets one at second. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. And here's Alfonso Soriano. Had a base hit his last time up. Bedard gets set and delivers. Strike one! Off speed pitches in there for a called strike. The pitch smashes that one towards the shortstop. And he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Well, you know, Gary, I tell you what, most major league hitters would not even offer that pitch. But this guy's one of those rare guys that absolutely loves that pitch down and in. That's why he got that hit. First pitch, hot shot towards the hole. That's one out. And there's two, a double play. They're held in check yet again, scoreless through eight innings. The White Sox still ahead. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. <laughs> Leading it off, Joe Creedy. Number 29, Joe Creedy. Here's the delivery. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that's out number one stepping in the bag. Designated hitter. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. We'll Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. One out, nobody on. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Two away. And it's Johnny Damon. Not a home run back in the sixth. Two outs and nobody on. Well hit towards the middle. Throws on the first side is retired. 
Well, that's one way to keep your pitch count down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. Up next. There's a familiar face, Lou Pinello looking on. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, this was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball game. Hit on the ground, up the middle. And that'll retire Lee. Number 16. One away as Aramis Ramirez gets set. Four career at bats. He's come away empty handed against Jenks. Pitch on the way. Fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. When you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch Strike next two. time around. Strike two at the knees. Nothing in two. Ramirez will foul that one away. Ground ball to short. Ramirez. Two down. It's going to be Soto now. Had a double his last time up. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there. Jenks ahead 0-1. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of forcing fastball down and away. It's tough to hit. And it's in there. Strike three call. That's it. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. And it's our pleasure to present you with the Pepsi Clutch Performance. What a game from Alexei Ramirez. You know, Gary, when someone gets on a hot streak like this, all you can do is sit back, tip your hat, and watch the show. He was spraying the ball all over the field, and one just happened to leave the ballpark. That'll make you the Pepsi Clutch performer of the game just about every time. And the victory in this game did not come easy. What an outstanding affair. Well, Gary, as a ball club, you really want to come out and dictate the tempo right from the start of a series, and they did that today. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crutch, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.